Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to Arcade Legend Overview. This could be potentially very interesting since it combines so many things that we've not seen on the platform so far, it's just there's not many details around it so it's mostly gonna be just speculations today. So Arcade Legend, as I suspect, seems to be a building tycoon simulator where you get in your hands an abandoned space that needs home renovation and turn it upside down, creating your own custom arcade space. Concept on paper is fairly intriguing. On the first glance it was hard to tell is it like an arcade minigame simulator or a purely building thing where you just manage and reach certain goals with population, money, just stuff like that. I guess it's like a combination of both that you're the manager and creator but you also partake in the experience. The devs claim that you'll be able to invite your friends to your arcade for head-to-head -head competition. This can mean two things like bots incoming to your place, trying out the machines and interact with them or actually a multiplayer based game where every person has their hub and then everyone can join. In this case the gameplay will reveal everything and let's just go into it because there's no point in pure speculations. <laughs> the game is pushing me out. <laughs> This looks kinda nice, so I wonder what's gonna be the rest of the game. Ah, you made it. Welcome. It's great to finally speak to you in... uh, person? Kinda? I see you received the power gloves. I'll explain more about them later. I don't exactly have a key to hand over, but everything is powered up and I've unlocked the front doors. Head on into the building and I'll speak to you there. For some reason the subtitles disappear in the objects. I mean that's a big discrepancy in the art style coming from the street. <laughs> yours now. This is the lobby. The back office is on the left and the arcade is through those doors straight ahead. The power gloves you're... This is your new office. Again, not new. This is your task list. Completing tasks will improve your arcade and increase its reputation. This screen details what to do and the reward you'll receive for completing the task. Step one, Click the track button in the bottom right hand corner to track this task. Great! You can view track tasks on the go from... Well done! <laughs> I'm too fast. Your first task complete. Click the claim button on the back of your hand to collect your reward and reveal your next task. Congratulations on your first reward. When you're ready, select and track the new task to continue. Oh, damn. Fine, so let's just... Ooh, it looks like that last task rewarded you with enough cash and reputation to buy your first arcade game. Very exciting! Navigate to the store section of the arcade manager to make a purchase. Oh, damn. I mean, I don't know which one. <laughs> I mean, even though we have a cash, we only have one reputation, so this one. Ah! Hypershoot! Arcade basketball reinvented. I'm sure it's going to be a real slam dunk with your customers. Yeah, but in all seriousness, don't try to dunk the ring. It's not designed for that. Our delivery drivers don't mess around. New games are delivered instantly. Head over to the loading bay in the arcade and select your game from the terminal to collect it. There's so many things like customizable. This is really a building simulator come to life. Where's the music? Where's just everything? And yeah, this is, seems to be a multiplayer as well. But we need to actually have an arcade. Um, okay. <laughs> Where's my Amazon? 
Well... Hypershoot will be delivered in just a moment. While we wait, go ahead and grab the Move tool from your Power Glove menu. How? There it is, the Move tool. This little wonder allows you to move even the bulkiest arcade equipment around with ease. To unload your game from the loading bay, stand back from the doorway, aim the Move tool at the machine, then squeeze the trigger to grab it. Perfect. Well, what are you waiting for? What's the point of owning an arcade if you don't get to play the games for free? Well, kind of for free. Tokens are key to this arcade, and you'll need them if you want to win tickets and redeem prizes. There are a few different ways to get tokens, but more on that later. Your tokens are attached to your power glove and located on the inside of your wrists. Grab a token and insert it into the token acceptor to credit the game. I wouldn't say this is the easiest controls I've seen, because normally you would grab it and then kind of turn it, but with a joystick, not with yourself. So it's like very wonky and <laughs> as a perfectionist myself, <laughs> If something is curved or not straight, that's a problem. <laughs> Fair enough. What the hell? Like, there's just not much going on, honestly. Watch out, leaderboards! That's one more token ready to be used on a high score earning jackpot winning game session. If you ever run low on tokens, remember to take a look around the arcade and see what you can find. <laughs> Do I have to collect money to play my own games? Excuse me? I think this was a mission actually as well. Here. I see you. That should suffice. It's a nice idea. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> we just inserted them. To where? Holy hell. <laughs> Finally. To Hypershoot. Select your game mode, solo or versus. Well, there's no one here. What happens then? Okay, well. Court is in session. Hot stuff coming through. It's not the most advanced physics. For a good time. You actually have to throw it. From long range. Oh, my hand hurts. <laughs> oh, there's a timer. Superstar, nice game. Keep playing games to earn tickets and use your tickets to unlock rare content at the prize counter. Well, once you restore the prize counter, you'll unlock rare content from there. Anyway, that's another task completed. Claim your reward from the screen on the back of your hand and then head to the back office and check out your task list to see what's next. I'm honestly bored, like, <laughs> there's not much to me that 
I find interesting. Cleaning, decoration. Yeah, you really need to like this type of stuff because there's so much work to be done to actually that to look good and then have something decent going on. You have to spend a lot of time here, which I don't have. <laughs> I guess we will <laughs> clean something. Ugh, this place has seen better days. Looks like just aim at a piece of trash and pull the trigger to blast it to oblivion. This is cool if you're like a designer and actually want to create some personal spaces, but... It's safe to say I'm not into it. <laughs> Arcade looks great. Well, not great, but pretty good. Yeah, no, there is too much to do an overview on. I don't know, I wish there would be more stuff happening, like background music, maybe some people already come in. I know, like, you have to spend so much energy initially in the first moments of the game to make it work. It's very specific experience in a way that is just not for everyone. Clearly not for me. But what I expected, I kinda got it. Like, this is a building simulator specifically in the arcade style with a multiplayer built-in. Actually, the NPCs will be coming over as well, so it's kinda like mixing. If I would not be limited by time, I would maybe play it more. It is what it is. Like, I can't judge a lot of it, it seems average to me. 